BBC introducing. If you're making music, we want to hear from you. And this is what we do every week here on BBC Three Counties Radio. Always on the lookout for unsigned, undiscovered and under the radar music from across beds, hearts and bucks. And I'd like to introduce you to someone who I think is doing it, kicking it, an amazing talent, new music, everything about it. And that's what we do here as part of BBC Introducing uh, on, on my show every Sunday night. And tonight we are joined by Lydia Maddox. How are you doing? Yeah, really good. Thank you for having me on, Edward. Listen, no worries. And you know, <laughs> I've got to say, that the fast food thing, seriously, if, if someone called you now and said, i um, going to take you out on, on, on a date <laughs> and it's going gonna, I'm gonna to take you to a fried chicken shop, would you, would you be up for it? Listen, I've just come from McDonald's myself, so... <laughs> Can I just is... say there's other brands available because just there in case are, yeah, that someone exactly. thinks that I've, you know, they've sponsored me and we don't do that at the BBC, but, you know, there's other brands available. So you've come from that place. I've come from there, but <laughs> yeah. I don't mind little Tutu chicken Nando's so, or anything wow. else as well. Like, fast, I, there are a few things that I can't live without and I think fast food's probably... So on a one. date, that, that, that's great for you? 100%. What's the worst date that you ever had? Oh, that's such a tough question. Um, probably someone that didn't show up. <laughs> Whoa, seriously? <laughs> yeah. But... So you set everything up and you were at the station or at the cafe and you're waiting there. No one turned up. Yeah. In all fairness, though, I didn't check. Do you know, like before you leave the house, usually you check and say, oh, by the way, leaving now. See you soon. Yeah. I did that and didn't hear anything. And no. then I got to Leicester Square and I was just like, no. OK, cool. First for everything. So how did you deal with that? I kind of laughed because I was like, this is really like good material that I can use for another song. <laughs> you, saw so. on, 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 you saw the lighter side of it. Oh, yeah, just, of course. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, but for some but arrangements and stuff, I mean, it's rude for someone to stand someone up, isn't it? Yeah, but in this sort of, I guess, modern world of all these dating apps and stuff, people are very throwaway anyway. You, yeah. you know, if you're like trying to find something you don't like about someone it's like oh I'll find someone better so it's or they like, use f- uh, fake photos not fake news fake photos <laughs> yeah fake yeah. fake 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 I know <laughs> I know I try to you know present myself as natural as as I come so well with my hairstyle and stuff I mean which, which describe your hairstyle please because it is it's mega cool Thank and it's you. It's the first time that I use <laughs> mega cool. It makes me sound as if I'm some like 1987 former Radio One DJ. Hey, it's mega cool. Super awesome. Like, <laughs> exactly. Like your hairstyle. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, it shaved on one side. I did it myself, and I accidentally did a grade one. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's like cool. Uh, and then there's like a quiff in the middle, yeah. and then something growing. I was just on about side, to say that so. if my because at the moment I'm having a bit of a kind of you know hair hairline issue hair issue at the moment because my barber's on holiday i was, I was gonna say that i would i'd call you <laughs> but if you're gonna if you're gonna miss certain parts of uh, uh, i'm not sure about that now <laughs> if, um, uh, well my barber skills are kind of like a lucky dip so if you're more than okay to call, sort of expect the unexpected then yeah please come Just to my barber shop i'm up yeah. for that i want to talk about how you got into music how did that happen well, um, I come from a very musical family, like grew up singing gospel songs in the church. Um, and my uncle, who used to babysit me quite a lot, he used to always sit us down and say, OK, today we're going to write a song. And I used to always try to impress wow. him. How old were you at the time? Uh, like nine or ten. Well, and he and had you... a little recording set up. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, yeah. Your uncle was next level. He was just, he, he knew at the time. He's like, listen, I'm going to make some money. <laughs> Yeah, he'll be coming back claiming soon, I'm sure. Wow. And when when your uncle did that, I mean, were you, did you feel encouraged? I mean, did you want to do it or did you feel as if you were forced into it? You're like, uncle, no, I don't want to know about music. Oh, no, I loved it so much because um, I'm from that generation where we used to record ourselves on cassette tapes and listen back. So, like, we found it really funny and... Uh, because I wanted to impress him and I loved I loved 90s pop anyway so to me that was like my way of being a pop star is it is it so. is it dirty to you to say that you know wrong to say to use the, the term pop or to say that you like pop music um I think sometimes people don't like it because they think oh it's not real music um but all music is real unless we're imagining that the music is there <laughs> like yeah. I think, um, no, like, I think you should embrace it. Like, I don't even use the word guilty pleasures. I just yeah. say, I love this song. I love it. You like, know, sometimes when you meet up with your old school friends and they want to go out somewhere and they're like, oh, mate, how you doing? Yeah, I haven't seen you for ages. Let's all get together. Let's go, <laughs> let's go to that club. They've got guilty pleasures down the road. And you're like, 
That's what they're going to play. Oh, they, they're going to play some like, you know, Tapao and some Depeche Mode. Yeah, I like that. But why is it called Guilty Pleasures? Oh, yeah, because, mate, it's old school. Yeah, it's and like it's people are And it's got brands ashamed. attached yeah, to it. Yeah, it's a It's a tough one, but I think, you know what? You have to like what you like and love what you love and play it loud. I used to, if my parents went out, like, I were going food shopping... I would turn the stereo up to the what, loud. In the car? Uh, no, at home, oh, just oh, home okay. alone. I would turn it up to like maximum and just run Annoy around the, the neighbours. Yeah, a little bit, but it's like you have but to. But they do call it like env- environmental kind of health or housing. Go, excuse me, it's, it's <laughs> happened for the fourth time. I can't stand that young lady, Lydia. Can you please ev- evict them? Can't stand that cheesy pop music. <laughs> I probably shouldn't confess to that now, but yeah, sorry, neighbours. Yeah, oh, it did. Oh my word! <laughs> Listen, I want want you to um, introduce your track. We're gonna play game in a minute mm-hmm. with my mum my mum is the queen of the top 40 she knows cool. every top 40 track and as you love an endorsing pop music no doubt you you've got to get everything right okay if not then you're not you're not the queen of pop oh okay this is gonna be tough but yeah i can rise to the challenge so brilliant. let's go for it brilliant before we do that we're gonna play your track in- introduce it hi i'm lydia maddox and this is my track too cliche picnic in the park too cliche holding hands in the dark too cliche kissing in the cinema too cliche but how can i show i like you in any other way be my wonderful too cliche because i really really want to give you all too cliche from heaven did you fall too cliche Counties Radio's The Edward Adu Show, The Sound of Sunday Night, and my special guest tonight, representing BBC, introducing in fine style, is Lydia Maddox from Bedford. I love that track, because you know, sometimes it's not wrong to say that you like pop music. Thank you. <laughs> Very much on the LaRue Yeah. You're... Was that an influence? Massively, yeah. I love LaRue. Um, grew up listening to a lot of her stuff, and why I just love La... synth pop. Why LaRue? Hey, no, synth Pop, pop is brilliant, but why LaRue in particular? Um, she's just so individual. She doesn't care what anybody else thinks. She wears what she wants to wear. She sings how she wants to sing. Um, she has very cool hair and cool style. And yeah, I just resonated with her quite a lot. That's amazing. And one thing to note, when it comes to pop music, especially when we're talking about black music, or for example, um, I don't want to bring race into it, but no, when you're like... talking, if... It's, oh, you know, I'm black, I like pop music. And in school, and when I have that conversation with my friends, I mean, 
sometimes I'm kind of looked down on because they say, oh, you know, if it's not R and B, hip hop, or reggae, it's like no, you can't like pop music. Is there is, is there a stereotype? <laughs> do you feel connected to that? If you are, if you're black, you know, like yourself, and you like pop music, but you're not given that kind of recognition or the props because you like pop music. Oh yeah, massively. I think you know people think, oh, you're black, so you must like rap. Um, but then it's like, you know, George Ezra is has a very deep baritone voice. And if you heard him on the radio, you might think he was black. But I think it's, um, I quite like the idea of, again, expecting the unexpected and just going with what you like yeah. and uh, not sort of following what everybody else I wants I wish I had a jingle do. to say, do your thing. Yeah. Do your thing. You <laughs> with know, like kind some of like, horns. With some horns or something, kind of like, you know, do my James Brown impression. or something. do your thing. <laughs> that was rubbish, wasn't it? You're just laughing along with, with me. You're, you're too no, kind. No, do your thing. That's much Maybe better. next time. Next I need time. to step up. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to play a game now. So as, as I mentioned, my mum is the queen of the top 40. She knows every top 40 track. So That's pretty amazing. Exactly, because my mum's cool. My mum rolls like that. See, mum's cool. Does we're she like, have like a Guinness Book of Records type thing that's a for good that? Thing. Or like a we certificate at least? Producer Grace and Phil, we need to look into that. We need to get Guinness Book of Records in, involved. For, <laughs> yeah, we need to do that. So mum reads out lyrics from three top 40 tracks. So okay. what you've got to do tonight is listen to what, what mum says and hopefully get them right. And okay, I really hope I'm good at this. Otherwise, Well, hang on a minute. Be... You know, you're the queen of pop. Yeah, so true. So you can't let true, us down. True, Yeah. <laughs> Mum, how you doing? Yes, got Lydia in the house. Mum, take it away. Me and Drizzy, back to back. It's getting scary. Back to back. Do you know that one? Uh, Me and Drizzy, is... back to back. is getting scary. Back to back. Thank you, Mum. Is that uh, Drake? Maybe one time or something? Oh, I'll tell you what. Drake is involved. He collaborated on that track. What do you say to someone when they've misbehaved or they're kind of going off the wrong track or you may have been told this at school? Uh, like my mind is so blank. Like, be good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm just terrible. Who no, am I? Listen. Like, I just can't. <laughs> I love that you're I'm like just, you're, having not... this, you're having this moment. Remember, I don't know who I am. I don't know what's going on. It's a real crisis. I'm really sorry. My sister will be like kicking herself because I'm sure she knows. I've got to do this. Computer says nah. Me and Drizzy back to back is getting scary. <laughs> Meek Mill, Drake. Going okay, bad. Yeah, going yeah. bad. Hopefully, I'm sorry. No, don't need to apologise. <laughs> fingers crossed you get this right. Okay. I've got my fingers crossed. I'm on it. Mum, take it away. Can you tell me what's with all this distant love? If I called, would you pick it up? You must know this one. Easily. Oh my gosh. Um, Is it Mabel, don't call me? I have to do this. I'm so sorry. Computer says nah. Can you tell me what's with all this distant love? I'm just the worst. Is that right? Kalani featuring Ty Dollar Sign, Nights Like This. You don't know that track. That's gone over my head. I feel so See, embarrassed. I'm, I'm just too in the pop world. You're not listening to Radio 1 on a Friday afternoon, the official <laughs> top 40 with Scott Mills. You're not listening. I've got um, I've got like Spice Girls on or something. I'm so bad. I'm like 20 years behind everyone. I'm really like, I just don't know what I'm doing with my life. I'm saying a prayer. Seriously, hands together. Please try and get this. Please. Okay. Please, please. This is my moment. This is, a, yeah, I'm not, I'm not who, who, was it Martin McCutcheon who sung, sung yeah, this, I'm not even going to sing it. <laughs> Mum, take it away. So would you still love me if I had no money? Oh, I love this song. Okay, if I don't get this right, I think that this is uh, dappy and young and comfortable. You sure you're gonna put some money on the table? Yeah. Not endorsing betting. One hundred percent. Yes! Oh my god! Yes! So would you still love me if I had no money? Wow. I love this song so much. My sister Rebecca, shout out, introduced me to this. So yeah, I've been playing it non-stop all this week so that's coming handy one out of three not too bad yeah. not too bad <laughs> have you got any gigs coming up i do i have a couple in march but uh the date's tbc so i'll yeah i'll post on socials and where can people find you like your social your social links um so if you go to uh google type in lydia maddox it will come up with my instagram soundcloud spotify etc so Lid yeah that's where i am Thank you so much for coming in and, and have a great evening and enjoy the rest of your week. And hopefully when we get you back next time, 
<laughs> you get all of them right. I know. I'm going to go home and study. This is going to be like GCSEs <laughs> all over again. So thank you so much for having me on. I've loved every moment. No worries. Thank you for coming in. Hello. So uh, I've just finished my interview on BBC Three Counties Radio. Um, it's still very surreal. Uh, it went by so quickly, but I loved every single moment. And yeah, it was amazing to hear Two Cliché playing out on the radio. Um, and yeah, this is a day that I'll definitely remember for a very long time. So yeah, I'm just, uh, I appreciate the opportunity to come here and to share my music with Bedford and beyond.